Well, Jeff's got my Blade 400 on my uh, training test stand here. I don't know how you come up with this, but this is one heck of a good idea. One heck of a good idea. All right, well, let's fly it and I'll show you. Okay, Jeff, let's give it a try. Push forward. Turn it so it's facing me. You want to face the nose towards me, the rudder. Now push forward a little bit, get it level. Get it level. A little more forward. Back a little. Get it level. is to keep it as level as you can and then lift it up a little off the ground keeping it level all the time Okay. It is one heck of an invention. <laughs> I never thought of this. This is neat. Really neat. All right. Well, let's see what, how, uh, how it works. The idea is to get it level as you can. So go ahead and bring it up slowly, keeping the tail from spinning around. Jeff has never flown a six-channel helicopter before, so gives him a chance to get a feel. That's good. He's got it level now. Keep the nose in front. Get used to that turning, but not torque turning. You have to keep it level. Bring it down just an inch. An inch. You see, it takes very little movement to go up and down. Yeah, just keep it level as you can. That's the whole trick. Go to like half throttle and do a keep it level though. It's tough, huh? <laughs> I know. Doing a good job though. There you go. Just don't let it move. Concentrate. Keep the nose in front of you. Get the, you gotta run that tail rotor, you're moving around. Make a left rear wet all the way around, but don't move the right stick, just the rudder. All the way around once, go. Punch it over.
amazing. Amazing. That, I probably would have crashed a couple times there. This is amazing. You could feel it, huh? Oh, yeah. Is it oh, easy yeah. or is it touchy? It's very sensitive, very realistic. Well, there you go, folks. Just another good reason to build one of these training stands yourself. Fuel out your helicopter before you go out and break it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 